Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com with a really, really quick and really useful tool on how you can get Siri to direct you via Google Maps instead of using Apple's own maps, which we all know isn't fantastic. Now, before I do this video, I want to give a quick um, tip off or credit. I want to give credit to Tom Richardson over at Jailbreak Nation because he's the guy whose video I watched to actually showed me how to do it and obviously I wanted to share it with you guys so if you're not following him then at least you know you you can do it this way so here we go um, obviously if you want to use Apple Maps normally you say something like you activate Siri give me directions to the nearest Apple store getting directions to Apple store Metro Center so we go it goes to Apple Maps and that's it simple um, but if you want to do it and you Starting want, route to Apple Store, Metro yeah, Center. we'll get rid of that for now. Head northeast on Etterbe Road. Etterbe, it's Etterbe. How can you not pronounce Etterbe? It's shocking. Anyway, if you want it to use a different app like Google Maps, for instance, you can do the same again. But all you do is you add via transit or via transit at the end of the sentence. So, give me directions to the nearest McDonald's via transit. Getting directions to McDonald's restaurants. And you can see it loads up all your transport apps, which includes Google Maps at the top. So hit root. And it will open up Google Maps. And then it will tell you how to get there. And that's that. Easy peasy. Now it will show up and you can just select a walk or get on the train. But anyway, that's that. That's a really simple tip. I hope you found that useful. And remember, go check out uh, Tom's video blog. I'll leave a link in the thing below. It's only fair. And uh, I will see you again soon. I'm at TIP underscore cam on Twitter. Goodbye.